you can add as many users as you'd like to Desk Manager Online. However, you can only have a certain number of users logged in at the same time, according to your Desk Manager Online subscription. Each person using Desk Manager Online must have their own user account. When you add a user, it's a good idea to assign a role to ensure they only have access to the Desk Manager Online features you desire. Chapters break up the YouTube video into sections. You can skip to any section of the video by hovering your mouse over the timeline, clicking the name of the chapter, then clicking the desired chapter. Add a new user. First click the settings cogwheel located at the bottom of the leftmost sidebar. Under the organization category, click users. This is the user settings page, which contains a list of every user on your account. You can edit any user by clicking on the user's name. To add a new user, click add new in the top left. Enter the user's first name, last name, and email address. Add optional information, such as the user's salesperson ID and phone number. Next, click the Roles tab and choose the role or roles you would like to assign to this new user. Now go back to the General tab. Click Invite User to Register. Once you save the new user in the top left, an email invitation will be sent to the provided email address. Have the new user follow the link from that invitation to complete the process. We suggest using your email address as your username. This makes it easier to remember and guarantees the new user will have a unique login. Multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication provides an additional layer of security for your Desk Manager online account. When enabled, you will receive either a text message or email containing a code upon login. You will then provide the code to Desk Manager online. The idea behind this is that you need to both know the account password as well as have access to your phone slash email account to gain access to Desk Manager online. To begin, open your user list and click the user for which you would like to enable multi-factor authentication. The user's email address is verified at the time of account creation, but a mobile phone number will need to be verified. Please note that this feature only requires an email or a mobile phone number, you do not need both. To verify your mobile number, type it into the mobile phone number box then click verify. You will receive a text message with a code. Simply type this code in and click verify. Next, check the enable multi-factor authentication checkbox and then click save at the top of the page. Outgoing email. Outgoing emails can be sent via Desk Manager Online in various parts of the program. This can be configured on a per lot and a per user basis. If you have both set up, the configuration on the user account will supersede configuration on your lot. To begin, click Email Server Setup under the Outgoing Email section. Select your email service under Server Name. If you choose either Gmail or Outlook, the domain name, port, and SSL usage will automatically be filled out. If selecting other, you will need to fill in the domain name, port, and SSL manually. You can get this information from your email host. Next, fill out your username and password. Please note that Gmail setup requires you to generate an app password. For instructions on getting this app password, please contact technical support. Fill out the from email address and from display name.
Check the Enable User Outgoing Email Settings checkbox if you would like the user email configuration settings to override any email settings on your lot. Clicking Save will send you an email with a security code. Enter this security code, then click Verify. Once verified, you will see an email setting verified message above your email configuration information. You can make changes to your configuration at any time by clicking click here if you want to change the setting. You can remove the settings by clicking remove setting. Linking a user to Web Manager. Web Manager is a separate product from Desk Manager Online. Whether or not you're subscribed to Web Manager, Desk Manager Online relies on Web Manager for certain features, such as adding ePay funds or customizing window stickers. For this reason, it's a good idea to at least have one Desk Manager Online user account linked to Web Manager. This allows the user to use the same username and password for both products. At the bottom of a user's setup page is the linked Web Manager account section. Click Create Web Manager account to create a new identical Web Manager account for this Desk Manager user. Set the role for access level in Web Manager. To activate the user, change the status from an active to active, then click Save. Alternatively, if this user had a Web Manager account prior to creating a Desk Manager account, the user could link their accounts. Clicking Link Existing Account will show a list of existing user accounts in Web Manager. Select the Web Manager user account you would like to link with this user in Desk Manager. To verify this link and log into Web Manager, click the Web Manager Marketing button on the leftmost sidebar. This will open a new tab to log in to Web Manager. You should be logged in automatically. Alternatively, you can go to the Web Manager login page and click on Sign into Web Manager with your Desk Manager Online username at the bottom. Enter your Desk Manager Online username and password. This will verify the linked accounts and allow the user to log into Web Manager automatically when accessing any Web Manager shortcuts in Desk Manager Online. You may unlink this Web Manager account at any time by clicking Unlink on the user's settings page. Unlinking the account prevents the user from logging into Web Manager with their Desk Manager Online credentials. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or issues, please reach out to our technical support team.